and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Oh, welcome back, everyone. I know you're all dying to see me because of my star quality. I'm the biggest star on the show, so, you know. Oh, Kaya, I hate to break this to you, but today we are actually going to be talking about a bigger star than you, if you can believe it. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Would you like to guess our next animal? They are literally a star. No clue. A starfish! Ho oh, ho, that's funny. You're a funny comedian. Should we start with some fun facts? Yes, please. I'm actually very interested in learning fun facts about starfish. They're very interesting. Glad to hear it. First things first. Even though it says fish in their name, they're actually not fish at all. Marine biologists like to refer to starfish as sea stars, as they are star-shaped animals that live in the sea. Sea stars are related to sand dollars and sea urchins. They do not have gills or scales or fins like fish do. They are invertebrates. An invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. Invertebrates live in every part of the world. In fact, most animals on Earth are invertebrates, and they come in every shape and size. Cool. And where do sea stars live? Well, there are about 2,000 different species of sea stars living in the world's oceans. They live in every type of watery habitat except freshwater habitats. They live in tide pools, rocky shores, seagrass, kelp beds, and coral reefs. Some kinds of sea stars even are found in sandy seabeds 30,000 feet deep. That's about 83 football fields deep. Sea stars are not very social animals, they are solitary animals, which means they spend most of their lives alone. They will, however, sometimes get together in large groups during certain times of the year to feed or to mate. Cool. Do sea stars lay eggs? Yes, they do. Even though these invertebrates have no brain or blood, they're still able to reproduce, which means have babies. A baby sea star is called a larva, and a female sea star can spawn up to 65 million eggs at once. Sea star babies are extremely tiny, almost invisible to the human eye. This allows the ocean's currents to carry these babies for miles and miles. During this time, these teeny sea star larvae feed on teeny tiny plants and animals floating nearby in the ocean. After a month or two, baby starfish begin looking less like tiny blobs of jelly and more like tiny sea stars for the next six months or so. After that, the teenage sea stars grow very slowly and prefer to make their homes hiding under coral reefs far from predators until they're large enough to travel and search for food. What exactly do sea stars eat? It's not what they eat that is interesting, it's the way they eat. Sea stars eat inside out. Favorite food on the sea stars menu include mollusks like clams and oysters, also snails, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. When sea star captures their prey, they have tiny suction cups to grab a hold of their food. Then their stomach exits their mouth to digest the food. Then when they're done eating and the digestion is complete, the stomach re-enters their body. Cool, huh? Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Sea stars are getting more interesting by the minute. Although, I am glad that my stomach stays put when I eat. <laughs> Tell us another fun fact about sea stars. Well, you might be most familiar with the five-armed, star-shaped species of sea stars. Not all of them have just five arms. Some species have many more. For example, the sun star can have up to 50 arms. That's a lot. I hear that if one of those arms gets detached, they can grow a new one. Is that true? It's true. That's called regeneration, when an animal can grow back an arm or a tail, for example. These cool creatures are able to regrow lost or damaged limbs. If under attack, some sea stars will even shed an arm to escape their predator. 
Sea star predators include certain fish species, sharks, manta rays, and even other starfish. A predator is basically an animal that eats other animals. Sea stars have very tough, prickly, armor-like skin that helps protect them. They also have beautiful colors that camouflage them into the plants and the coral. That way, predators have a harder time finding them. Oh, does my fur camouflage me into the trees? Or my pool? Or my convertible? Uh, not exactly. Camouflage is when an animal blends in with their surroundings so that they are not seen by other living things. This leads me to my next subject, something we can all do right now to help keep our oceans and the animals who live there safe and healthy. Explore and appreciate the ocean without interfering with wildlife in their habitat. If you're gonna explore the beach, a reef, or a tide pool, which I hope all of you guys are always exploring, don't poke at the animals or pull them off the rocks or remove them from the water. You could end up hurting the animal and its environment. Also, always walk carefully. Like we just learned above, you never know if an animal's camouflaging in with its surroundings. And of course, always try to learn more about oceans and marine animals. The more you guys learn about the issues facing the world's oceans and the animals who call them home, the more you'll wanna make sure that they stay healthy. All the animals are so important to the health of the ecosystem in which they live. It's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together and make sure animals and humans live in harmony. <laughs> Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now, it's question time! Yeah, yeah. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. Sea stars live in all types of watery habitats around the world except, is it A, tide pools, B, the ocean floor, C, fresh water, or D, seagrass? The correct answer is C. The only water habitat that you will not find a sea star is in fresh water. What does it mean if you are an invertebrate? Is it A, you have no backbone? B, you have a backbone? C, you only eat plants? Or D, you have spiny skin? The correct answer is A, an invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. Most animals on Earth are invertebrates. Not us though, we are mammals with a backbone. What is a baby sea star called? Is it A, a calf? B, a larva? C, a baby? Or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is B, a larva. You guys did great. Double thumbs up. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. See you next week. See you guys.